How's it going guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for you guys. I'm going to be doing a player review. Last year this was something that was very popular on my channel. A lot of you guys enjoyed it and today we're going to be reviewing a player obviously. The player that we are going to be reviewing today is going to be a very special one in my opinion. We're going to be taking a little look at the Pacos de Ferreira left winger called Diego Yotta. This guy, in my opinion, if you want a really good, cheap and young replacement for Ronaldo, this guy really does fit the bill. We will be going into his stats in just a second, but you can see he's worth 3.2 million at the start. He's showing great potential. He's only 18 years old, which is just nuts. It really is. He's 73 overall, left winger. And now we're going to take a little look at his stats. To be honest, he doesn't really have too many amazing stats at the start of career mode. They're very well rounded and very balanced, though. And that is something that I do like about this guy. He has good attack positioning, good vision, and his ball control and dribbling are probably the standout stats for him at the beginning of the career mode. To be honest, his skill attributes do need a little bit of improvement here and there, but some of them are already green, which is good. The best thing about this guy, though, is he is a left winger and a striker. He can play both of those positions, similar to Ronaldo. He's 5'10", he's Portuguese, he's right-footed. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. The only really thing he's missing is the five-star skill moves, really. If he had that, he would definitely be the cheap Ronaldo. No traits or specialties at the start of career mode, but now that we've seen him at the start of career mode, we're going to be taking a little look at him at full potential a few seasons down the line. So now we are going to be looking at Diego Yossa at full potential, and you can see straight away... After quite a few seasons in career mode, only 8 seasons, at his peak he did get to a 90 overall. Already in this season he's grown by plus 2 as well, which is just insane. This guy's growth rate in this career mode was just absolutely awesome. Obviously I did say he's 90 overall, he's one of the world's best left wingers. Probably better than Ronaldo at this stage of career mode, he's worth 52 million. And now we're going to be taking a little look at his stats individually, and my word, this guy just blows me away. When I look at his stats, I just can't believe this. He's got really, really good, well-rounded physical stats. Very, very good attack positioning and vision. He's going to be getting into those positions very well. He's got really, really good ball control and dribbling, as you'd expect. They were already high at the start. I could read out all of Diego Yotta's stats, but to be honest, you can see it for yourself. Loads and loads of dark greens and light greens everywhere. It's just absolutely awesome. Only his defensive attributes and his free kicks, those are the only things that aren't in the greens. The specialties that Diego Yotta did pick up are the dribbler specialty, distance shooter and also acrobat as well. But now that we've taken a little look at Diego Yotta at full potential, you know what it's time for. It's time to get into the gameplay for Diego Yotta and see how he does play in game. So now we're going to be moving into the gameplay for Diego Yotta, aka the cheap Ronaldo. And we're going to be starting off with what makes this guy such a good player in career mode. I played him in various different positions in different formations. As a left winger, a left midfielder, a left forward and a striker. Although I feel like his best position is a striker. And that's probably due to the runs he makes. And the high low work rates combined with the 94 attack positioning. That just makes him such a deadly player as a striker. And he's very, very easy to find for attacking runs. Obviously, you would have been able to see from that clip as well that he's a very, very good dribbler of the ball. He's so agile. He's able to take it round defenders very easily. And despite not having the best pace, he can breeze past defenders quite well. And that is very, very useful in games. As I didn't really play him too much as a left winger and a left midfielder because he just seemed a lot better as a striker. I didn't really get to test out his passing or his crossing that much. You will be able to see it in some of these clips, but to be honest, that wasn't really what I was using him for. I was using him more as a striker, seeing if he could score some good goals, and I'll be fair, he did get quite unlucky a lot of the time. It's due to my poor finishing, really, and in these clips, I could have finished off so many more opportunities than I did. It's just due to the fact that I'm just not that good at FIFA, really. That's just me being honest. He is a very good finisher, and if you... If you know how to finish with players on this game, you will really like this guy. The good thing about Diego Yotta as well, I've already mentioned how he's got really good attack positioning, really good dribbling, and just able to breeze past defenders easily. He's also able to create pockets of space for his teammates, which is also very useful. And that means that more chances are created in games. So, you, you know, even though he's not going to be scoring that many goals, unless you're good at finishing, unlike me... 
he he gets into spaces and that's really really crucial because it means that other players get involved into the game a lot more and it means that the whole team seems to play a lot better when he's in an attacking position. So far, so good then. He does seem to be a good player. But now we're going to be moving on to what doesn't really make him such a good player compared to other players on this game. And the first thing really that I did notice is his strength. You saw it was an issue really in the squad report when looking at his stats. He doesn't really have the best strength. Sometimes that can go to his advantage. Winning penalties such as this one in the area. He goes down to ground. Wins a penalty and that's due to his lack of strength. One thing that isn't necessarily a negative that I am addressing as one is the fact that he does take a little while to get used to. He's not like normal players in my opinion and you know you've got to find the best positions that work for him in your team because it will vary. Obviously I'm playing in the A League in this career mode so he's going to do a lot better than maybe when he's playing in Premier League teams. He might struggle a little bit more to begin with. But this is going to be the end of my player review for Diego Yossa. Overall, I think this guy is a very, very good player. And a player that I do recommend you go out and buy if you can afford him. Whether you're a big team in career mode or you're a smaller side, definitely recommend you should try and pick him up. He can be good as backup. Or he can do a very good job in the first team for you. Overall, he is a good player. A rating that I would give him out of 10 would probably be 9 out of 10. The only issue that this guy does have, like I did say, is strength. And the only other con that I did say about him was he does take a while to get used to. But that isn't really a con because if you're buying this player, he is a player for the long term and he's not going to be great straight away. But give him time, he will develop and he will become a very good player. But this will be the end of this player review. Hopefully you have enjoyed. And if you have enjoyed this player review, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any suggestions of how I can improve this sort of mini series, do let me know in the comments down below. And if you want me to review any players in particular, also let me know down in the comments below. But apart from that guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.